what is up guys so um this one is a pretty pretty simple one and the purpose of this video is to basically showcase the strategy that i'm using right now to warm up new email inboxes that i start for cold email outreaches uh for everybody out there right now that's uh suffering from the new linkedin limits that are being rolled out um meaning that you're not able to send out more than 100 connection requests per week uh, cold email is basically one of the most, you know, surefire and guaranteed ways to basically go forward. If you're doing it right, if you're doing it wrong, you'll screw up your domain. It's going to cause a bunch of other problems, etc. But one of the key and core steps to doing it right is essentially what's called email warm up. Uh, so warming up the domain prior to actually sending. For everybody that's coming to this video and is already automating on LinkedIn, for example, a good example is uh, you can't just start a profile overnight and start sending 200 connection requests per day. The exact same thing applies to email. You can't just open up a domain and start sending out 300 emails at once. It's, it's weird and it seems highly automated. And Gmail functions primarily on like automated algorithms that spot this type of behavior. And what happens as soon as they detect it is they'll usually block your account or mark your domain as spam. Marking your domain as spam usually means that you're going to have to somehow fix it, which is a very lengthy process. It doesn't happen overnight nor like within a week. Um, and your domain being like your website being shut down is another possibility as well, which is something that I've actually suffered from once. And it's a, it's a lengthy process to get it back up. But one of the most important elements with regards to setting up the domain is the email warm-up process. So warming up a domain, a fresh domain that was just started, essentially, like a, a fresh G Suite account, basically means plugging in an automation tool that sends and receives emails between its own network, so within its own network of different emails. So one of the best tools that I've come across so far for getting this done is a tool called Warm Up Inbox. And the reason as to why it's the best, from my personal opinion, is because number one, it does the job, and it does the job in a cost-effective way. Uh, you have tools like Lemworm, which is, Lemworm, if I'm not mistaken, is priced at $30 per domain, which is crazy compared to Warm Up Inbox. Warm Up Inbox is a third of that cost, and it does the exact same thing. So you pay $9 for this, etc., and it does the exact same thing. Now, how it works from a domain perspective, if you head to one of the domains that we're warming right now, if you head to the send section, you'll see that there's a bunch of emails that have already been sent from this domain. I never sent a single email from this domain. It's still in the warm-up phase. So the way it works is this tool essentially will send emails from your inbox, right, to inboxes within its network that will then reply and unmark a spam, etc., begin conversations between your domain and the domains within the network. This will basically indicate to Google and to G Suite and to whatever like algorithms they use in order to track uh, just domain health and how the domain is performing, that your inbox is active and it's active organically. It's not active from a, you know just a transactional perspective. It's active from a like the, the inbox is being used for non-business related conversations. So essentially that's that. So as you can see from this email, uh, it's just a bunch of gibberish, basically. Uh, sometimes a senator, but just a bunch of like just generated words that are sent between one another. If you check the inbox as well, you can see here, uh, fruitcake, blah, 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 etc. So what it does is exactly that, it just sends emails back and forth. Now, this is super important because once you hit this date of April 18th, right, this means that this inbox has essentially been, been warmed up to the point of where it can send 40 to 50 emails per day. And you can choose the number that you want from the settings, but I've set them to 40. So by the 18th, essentially, so you can say approximately nine days out, the inbox is warm and you can basically start sending transactional emails. So promotional emails, marketing emails for a cold email outreach, which is essentially hyper important because if this domain wasn't warmed up and you just started sending emails from April the 9th when the inbox was opened, it'd be banned in a second. Essentially, you'd basically log in the next day, 
the domain authority will drop drastically. You'd start ending up in spam. And most likely, G Suite will also give you an error saying that you know your account has been closed because we've seen some weird activity. So for anybody looking to warm up their domain, uh, head over to warmupinbox.com. Get it. Attach your domains. Pretty simple process. Like I won't guide you through it. They have like a pretty easy guide with regards to how it works. But one of the best tools, hands down, for this process is warmupinbox.com because it gets the job done. It does it for nine dollars per domain. On this account, I have give or take four, and then on the other one, I also have I think another nine, if I'm not mistaken. So I have four on this one, and then another nine on the other one, basically, because it wouldn't be the CC, so I created the second account. But get this done, super important with regards to cold email outreaches, and uh, that's that. I'll see you guys on the next one.